My name is Sarah Wormkert, and I received a Dale Society Fellowship to work here in the Western History Collections. Uh, my work is split between curatorial work on some of the uh, library's ongoing projects to manage the collections, and then my own research, which is looking at some of the Chicano and Chicana journals that are here in the holdings. So, uh, some bilingual publications, uh, primarily in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The best aspects so far of working uh, in this fellowship has been uh, the connection to the community here at the Western History Collections. Uh, every day I work here with librarians and researchers and students who have a wide variety of research interests and backgrounds, um, but who have also been able to help me by sharing their own strategies for research and for note taking and um, for finding materials in places that you might not expect or um, taking um, some creative approaches to uh, bringing different materials together. So that has been a really great experience and has broadened my perspective on how I approach my research. And it's really fascinating to be able to see all the different kinds of materials that are here in the Western History Collections. Um, and the goal of the project that I'm working on is to make those materials um, more easily findable and accessible to the public. So I've come across some photographers here that were documenting the migrant farm workers in the 1940s in Crystal City, Texas, which ended up being one of the major centers of the early Chicano movement. And that's not something I ever could have found on the internet. So I think it's important to remember um, that here in these library collections, we have the accumulation of over a century now of people's uh, work that and knowledge that we can access and it's important to take advantage of that.